All right, well, I'm sure at this point you're wondering, where am I? So we're going to go and continue figuring out where are you in the entire depth of the entire universe? If someone were to mail you a very precise letter. So after we know that we are indeed on planet Earth, our next step is to look at our neighborhood. So our overall neighborhood is where are we within with our Earth? And so we're kind of in its Earth-Moon system, that the Earth and the Moon, this is our neighborhood. This is our orbit as the Earth goes all the way around the Sun. And that was part of the point of why Earth is a planet is because there's nothing else in our orbit. So we'll call that our neighborhood. That whole orbit is ours. Nobody else can be there. So please be sure on the line that says neighborhood, please write Earth-Moon system. And remember, you can pause this video at any time if you need to. So you can write it down and then come back to the video. So once you've got our neighborhood, our next step is going to our system. So that is indeed the entire solar system is what we call it. Um, so the solar system is that includes all of the planets from Mercury all the way out to Neptune and then the Kuiper Belt as well. But that entire solar system, that is our local system. That's the system that we are a part of. So if someone were trying to find you, they'd have to go, oh, make sure that you address it to the solar system. All right. Once we've got the solar system, the solar system is part of the Milky Way galaxy. So galaxies composed of lots and lots of other solar systems, which are stars with planets around them. So the galaxy Milky Way is full of millions of other stars all spinning around in space. So that is indeed our local home. We can actually see the Milky Way galaxy at night. You can sometimes see like kind of a stripe of stars that are very dense, and that's us looking through into the galaxy. Um, so we're one of, on one of the outward spiral arms here. It is considered a spiral galaxy. It looks like a nice spiral. And I believe there was another video that explained why it is that shape. All right. So then our galaxy, that is our nice home base in the universe, but we are part of also other groups. So we've got our, so where it says group one, please write local group, because that means our Milky Way galaxy, we're kind of, we're close to these other galaxies. There's all different ones. There are some major, some of them you might recognize their names based on um, constellations. Andromeda is a well-known galaxy. That's a very bright one. We can see that quite easily, comparatively. Um, but so this is our local group. It's our, hey, it's our people who live nearby in our galactic neighborhood instead. So for group one, please write local group. Then moving on to group two, our galactic local group is near the Virgo supercluster. So this is a whole group of other ones. And Virgo is indeed a constellation, so we call it that's why we get the name, and it's got all these other clusters of galaxies all in there. So think about that. We are part of the solar system, which is part of a galaxy, which is a cluster with lots of other galaxies. And this is the Virgo supercluster. Got that down? Got it? Good. All right, because now what I have just told you was incorrect. I'm sorry, we are not actually part of the local group or the Virgo supercluster anymore. Sorry, yep, I know. So actually, we are now part of the Laniakea supercluster. What? What is this crazy thing? So let me show you. Oops. So um, as of September 2014, so when you just started um, fifth grade, there was a new discovery, and all of this has changed. So yes, a lot of things that you read will indeed say the local group, our local group, and the Virgo supercluster, which still exist, but actually we are not part of. We are now actually better defined as we are being part of the Laniakea supercluster. So what I'd like you to do is on your sheet, which you should have just been filling out, you get to delete those two, delete those two groups. Nope, they're gone. So now our group, we don't even have a group. number. Group is the Laniakea supercluster. It's an, uh, it's a, I can't write and type at the same time, supercluster. It's a Hawaiian word, cluster, saying that it's a, I believe it means heavens or, um, but Lana, so this is our new name of our group. And actually, if you'd like to learn more about it, you can click on the video over here to go and find out more about what is this Lanai Kea supercluster? It was just discovered, and this is actually a better description of where we are. And then once we're past that group, the very last line of where we are, we are inside the observable, observable universe. Be sure you include that. The supercluster is part of the observable universe. So that is our final place where I will leave you. So then I can. So get rid of those other ones. If you have still group one, group two, group three, I will mark it wrong. You have to go back and fix it. We're in the Milky Way galaxy, which is in the Lanai Kea supercluster, which is indeed part of the observable universe. So we shall end with that's a lot of stars. That's a lot of planets. That's a lot of universes and galaxies. And that's everything we can see from our perspective. What's beyond that? We don't know. And that's kind of the cool thing about space. When you look up at space, 
you are looking millions and billions of miles at starlight that has came, came from very, very long time ago, but that's as far as we can see. All right. So now, with that information, someone should be able to find you. And I should be able to stop this video, I hope.